Okay, so let's do a little dessert today. We're gonna do a strawberry and Asian pear crumble. It uh, could be any fruit you want. I happen to have strawberries and Asian uh, pears sitting around, so I decided to do that. Um, first, let's do the filling. So I got strawberry and Asian pear in here. Um, it, basically, if you have the small strawberries, you can just throw them in whole. If you have larger ones, just slice them in half. And I'm trying to sort of meet about half and half strawberries and Asian pears. So again, I want the Asian pears to be about the same size. So I'm going to cut these into little slices, pieces like this that I'm going to throw in. And that will make that part. Now, what I want to add to that uh, in order to give it some more flavor is we're going to put in some sugar. I just have some white sugar here. So I'm going to put in some sugar. I want to put in enough sugar to coat it really is what I'm after. I want to make sure I just have enough in there to coat it. I want to make sure I got some sugar on each piece. Okay, that looks pretty good. Then I want to put in some lemon, so lemon juice. I think about half of this lemon ought to do just fine. So let's put that in there. Give it a little tartness. Use the strainer here in order to keep the pits from going in. Toss that around a little bit. Now the last thing I want to add is I want to add a little cornstarch. And the reason I'm adding cornstarch is I want to get this nice syrupy thickness in the, um, in the filling when it cooks down. So I don't want to put too much. Again, I'm just looking for sort of getting a little coating of cornstarch on every piece of the filling. That looks pretty good. All right, so I got the filling done here. So what I'm going to do with that is put it into these ramekins that I have over here. Bring them over. We want to fill them up. We want to definitely want to fill them up. So because they're going to shrink when they're cooking, they're going to cook down. So I'll put that here. We'll fill this one up here. All right, and we can fill them up because I want to put a topping on top of them, but but it'll fit good and it'll just kind of slide on down. So then the next thing I got to do is the topping. I'm actually going to do three different versions of the crumble for this. I'll show you one. I'll bring the other two in. Now the base of the crumble is pretty much all the same. I'm going to start with a quarter cup of flour, a quarter cup of sugar, and what I did here is I actually mixed uh, some white and some uh, light brown, so it's about half and half, so there's a quarter cup of that total in sugar, and cold butter. It's got to be cold. So I put the cold butter in there like that and that's the base that's the base for all three of the toppings that I'm using now in this particular version what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, oats some uh, so here is some rolled oats it's about a quarter cup of rolled oats and really all I want to do with this and I want to do it relatively quickly because I don't want the the butter to soften a lot I just want to mix it up in here get that crumble going. Uh, you know, just do it relatively quickly. All right. That takes a little bit of time. All right. So now what you see I've got here is I've kind of gotten this to come together into crumb, what looks like, like some crumbs. All right, so I got that there. And I'm going to... Now I have two other ones over here behind me that I did earlier. One of them is the same base, the same three items in the base, the sugar, the butter, the um, flour. And uh, instead of putting in oats, what I put in one of them was pistachios. I just so took some roasted pistachios and put them in. And then the other one is just to put cinnamon in. So it's three different versions of essentially the same thing. I can bring my ramekins over here like so, and let's just put this lovely crumble on top. And I can pile it on. I can make it higher than the, than the height of the ramekin because, like I said, the fruit's going to reduce down and it's going to kind of go down into it. So I got one. I got one with the oats. Then I got one with the cinnamon, like so. And I've got one that has the roasted pistachios in it. All right, so these are going to go on a tray uh, with a little parchment because in case they boil over, in case some of the sugar comes over, it'll be easy to clean up. 
These will go into a 350 to 370 drive degree oven. It's going to kind of depend on your oven uh, for about 30 to 40 minutes uh, until I'm starting to get some nice browning on that crust on top on the on the crumble. And uh, then I've got to let it cool. So we got to go through that process. When we come back, Don is going to decide which of these crumble toppings she likes the best. So we'll be back. Okay, so we're back. And all three of them are ready to go. They took about 35 minutes to cook. Donna's going to give them a try. We had the one that had just the cinnamon in it. We had the one that had the uh, pistachios in it over here. And this is the one with the oats. oats. Uh, one of the interesting things to see is the one with the cinnamon. It all kind of sunk down in. So what do we learn from that? Um, it's a little too heavy or it doesn't have a, a something that holds yeah. it up a like yeah, basically, it, area to hold it, on it even had a little bit too much butter yeah, that sure. made it kind of go into it, or it just didn't have something to make it a little bit more buoyant. So that's yeah. the thing, you know, so that's one thing we learned that uh, maybe we need to put something in that. But why don't you give them a taste and see what you think? All right. And you start at which, whichever end you want. All right. We're going to start with the cinnamon. I thought you were going to make me guess which was which. No, but, no, but... no, no, no. I'm not that mean. <laughs> So, um, and you like, I remember there was, it was strawberry and Asian pear, but you could certainly put anything else you want in it. Um, mm -hmm. so you give that one a try. It is good. The crumble is down in it, but it, which kind of made it not so much a crumble, right? Yeah. Um, kind of all it's yeah. mixed again. It's mixed in with the fruit basically. Yeah. yeah. So maybe the, you know, maybe the way to approach mm -hmm. that would be to either put a little bit of something else in it or maybe a little less butter or something like that. But why don't you go ahead and try the next one? That's the one with the oats okay. and that floated up real nice and it got crunchy. The top is nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. I think these fillings should pretty much taste the same. Hmm. Yeah, you can definitely get the texture of the oats mm -hmm. in that. I'm going to see if I can get the crumble really does go quite a ways through it. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's, it's going to be a little bit, you know, it's not mm -hmm. going to be complete, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the interesting thing, and as she's trying the, oh, go ahead. Yeah. And um, what I like about the mix of fruits is you get a, the Asian pear has a little texture to it right. still. So it isn't just mush. Right. So you get the strawberry. The strawberry tends to break down a lot. The Asian pear tends to maintain a little mm -hmm. bit of its character. You get that nice uh, kind of a saucy feeling from uh, the um, mm -hmm. uh, cornstarch that you put in. Yeah. Now, the other thing that's interesting is, of course, in some cases, they say that that it's it's not a crumble when you put oats in it. It's called a crisp. All right. Let's <laughs> argue over semantics. To be honest, if I put a lot more oats in that, I mean, the mm -hmm. thing with a crisp is it the, the amount of oats is a lot more. It kind of controls the whole thing. I just put a little bit in, so I still call it a crumble. So what do you got there? That's the one with the pistachios. Yes. I think I might like this one the best. Okay. This is, so now you have a little texture from the nuts, mm -hmm. and I think a little salt from the right. nuts I as mean, they well. were roasted so salted. with sea sauce, roasted salt. Yeah. yeah, roasted, salted. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And I like this. I like that. You it? Yep. Mm. Wow. We have a lot of dessert to eat. Yeah. And here's so, this is, so I wanted to show you the various different ways you could approach this. And now you think about that and maybe, right, mm -hmm. could you say do the pistachios and add a little cinnamon, for example? Yes. Or something like yeah. that. So, so play with it a little bit. Have some fun with it. Uh, the base, just keep in mind the base, um, which is really the equal amounts of flour and sugar. Uh, and you can mix. I did, I did mix. I put a little bit of, uh, I put a half and half was the white sugar and the light brown sugar. You could use dark brown sugar. Um, and the amount of butter was a little bit less. But again, you're trying to get that nice crumbly feeling. So play with it. Have fun with it. Put different things in it. Uh, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Thanks for joining us.